power flow analysis using gauss seidel method problem number 3 considering the line flows and line losses we are going to determine the line flows and line losses in this problem a sample system is described in figure the line data bus data load flow results are given in table 1 and 2 compute the following first one is slack bus power reactive power generation from generator 2 line flows and line losses here the line data are given line 1 2 the admittance values are given and half line charging admittances are given similarly for bus data and load data for all the three buses the data are specified by looking at after this data the bus 1 is a slack bus since voltage and angle is specified and uh, power is not specified bus 1 is a slack bus and bus 2 the megawatt power is given and mvar is not given so it is a generator bus and bus 3 is a load bus since here in the load the megawatt and mva power are specified and for simplicity in this problem they have uh, given the bus voltages and angle for all the three buses okay our main aim is to find out the slack bus power first then reactive power generation from g2 so no need to find the bus voltages for all the buses as we do in other problems first we need to form the y bus matrix that is bus admittance matrix here is a network it is a three bus network and the line data are specified here since it is a three bus system your admittance bus matrix will be of a three cross three matrix so we need to find all this nine parameters of the y bus matrix first we determine the diagonal elements of y bus matrix y11 y11 equal to the lines which uh, which are connected to bus 1 that is 1 2 and 1 3 are connected just add the admittances of these two lines that is 1.47 minus j 5.88 plus 2.94 minus j 11.77 along with that you need to add the off line charging admittances that is j 0.15 and j 0.07 so you'll be getting y11 equal to 4.41 minus j 17.43 similarly for y22 the lines connected to second bus that is y21 and y23 the admittance values are 21 is here 12 is equal to 21 so it is 1.47 minus j 5.88 and 23 it is 2.75 minus j 9.17 similarly for off line charging admittances j 0.15 plus j 0.04 so it will be getting y22 as 4.22 minus j 14.86 similarly for third bus y23 plus y13 plus h23 plus h13 substituting the values will be getting 5.69 minus j20.83 now we are going to determine the half diagonal elements of y bus matrix so y12 that is equal to y21 and that is equal to negative of the admittances connected between line 1 and 2 minus 1.47 plus j 5.88 similarly for y13 that is equal to y31 negative of the admittances connected between the bus 1 and 3 it is minus 2.94 minus j 11.77 it, it becomes minus 2.94 plus j 11.77 similarly for y23 and y32 now we are going to form in a matrix format so y bus is equal to a 3 cross 3 matrix like this now we are going to determine the slack bus power so what are all the datas we require for slack bus power we require all the bus voltage value so it is given in the problem v1 equal to 1.04 angle 0 and v2 equal to 1.02 angle minus 3.09 v3 equal to 0.93 angle minus 7.01 so we are going to consider this voltage equation and uh, since we know the slack bus is bus 1 so we need to substitute p equal to 1 and n equal to 3 in the voltage equation no need to consider the k value here so we are not going to do iterations here so substituting the values we'll be getting 1 divided by y11 p1 minus jq1 divided by v1 conjugate minus the first summation point q varies from 1 to p minus 1 p is 1 here so 1 minus 1 is 0 so there is no term here in the first summation and coming to the second summation point q varies from p plus 1 to n p is 1 and uh, plus 1 that is 2 q become 2 2 2 and n equal to 3 so q equal to 2 and q equal to 3 so two terms come from this second summation so you'll be getting y p value is 
so y1 q is 2 first so 2 v2 minus y1 3 v3 you will be getting this v1 equation so from this v1 equation you know the value of v1 you know the value of y11 from y bus matrix and this p1 and v1 conjugate you know and y12 from y bus matrix v2 is given in the problem y13 from y bus matrix v3 is also given in the problem the only unknown is p1 minus jq1 so you can derive the equation for p1 minus jq1 from this equation so you will be getting slag bus power p1 minus jq1 equal to v1 y11 plus y12 v2 plus y13 v3 these two terms goes to that side it become positive into the v1 conjugate this is your slag bus power equation substitute all the values v1 and y11 from y bus then y12 from y bus v2 and all the values are specified given in the problem just substitute all the values and uh, use the complex mode in the calculator to solve this equation easily okay separately calculate each term so 1.04 angle 0 into this term you will be getting an answer plus the second term and the third term so finally if you add all those things you will be getting the final answer second we need to determine the reactive power generation from generator 2 so directly we can apply the formula of reactive power q qp power k plus 1 equal to this uh, equation and uh, this uh, reactive power we are going to obtain for generator g2 that is bus 2 so substitute p equal to 2 and n equal to 3 in this uh, reactive power equation you will be getting like this q2 is equal to minus 1 into imaginary part of v2 conjugate and the first summation is q varies from 1 to p minus 1 so p is 2 here so 2 minus 1 is 1 so in the first summation you will be getting one term for q equal to 1 so p equal to 2 so y21 v1 plus second summation q varies from p to n p is 2 n is 3 so q equal to 2 and 3 so q2 term and q3 term so and substitute all the values v2 is given in the problem and y21 y22 y23 we can get from the y bus matrix v1 v2 v3 are specified in the problem you just substitute all the values and calculate this using a complex mode in the calculator separately you can multiply and you will be getting a separate term use the complex mode it will be simple for you to obtain the answer finally you will be getting q2 equal to minus 1 into imaginary part of 0.4955 minus j 0.452 so here it is given as minus 1 into imaginary part of so in this term the imaginary part is 0.452 that is minus 0.452 in the beginning you will be having one more minus 1 so multiply that with this one you will be getting q2 equal to 0.452 then third we are going to obtain the line flows so here you will be having three lines 1 2 2 3 and 3 1 so from 1 to 2 there will be a line flow 2 2 3 and 3 2 1 there will be a line flow similarly in the reverse manner 1 2 3 3 2 2 and 2 2 1 so we are going to obtain six values of line flows use this formula this is a formula to determine the line flows s i j equal to vi into vi conjugate minus vj conjugate into small y ij conjugate plus magnitude of vi whole square into h ij conjugate where this small y ij is the admittance of the line connected between bus i and j similarly h ij is half line charging admittances connected between the bus i and j so first we start with line 1 2 so 1 2 means i equal to 1 j equal to 2 substitute i equal to 1 and j equal to 2 in the uh, line flow equation you will be getting s 1 2 is equal to v 1 v 1 conjugate minus v 2 conjugate into small y 1 2 conjugate plus v 1 square into h 1 2 conjugate substituting the values v 1 is given here and here it is a v 1 conjugate the angle is 0 so no need to worry about the conjugate term here and in the second term 1.02 angle 3.09 actually the angle is minus 3.09 here it is conjugate so we are substituting plus 3.09 into y12 this y12 is not from the y bus matrix it is small y12 so this small y12 is the admittance of the line connected between bus 1 and 2 it is given in the problem it is 1.47 minus j 5.88 
so you need to substitute as a conjugate here so 1.47 plus j 5.88 and plus v1 square into h12 it, it is a half line charging admittance of the line connected between bus 1 and 2 it is j 0.15 and here it is conjugate so minus j 0.15 so substitute all the values so calculate using the complex mode you'll be obtaining this answer s12 equal to 0 0.3690 plus j 0 0.0310 and this will be equal to p12 plus j q12 it is real power flow and reactive power flow between the line 1 and 2 now second line 2 3 i equal to 2 and j equal to 2 substitute i equal to 2 and j equal to 2 in line flow equation you will be getting s23 equal to v2 v2 conjugate minus v3 conjugate into y23 plus v2 square into h23 substitute all the values here you will be getting the answer as 0 0.8532 plus j 0 0.6422 it is p23 plus j q23 similarly for third line 3 1 i equal to 3 and j equal to 1 so v3 into v3 conjugate minus v1 conjugate into y31 plus v3 square into h31 conjugate substituting the values you will be obtaining minus 1.668 minus j 0.8324 it will be equal to p31 plus j q31 so it is a normal uh, clockwise direction loop and now in the reverse direction for line 2 1 so previously we determined line 1 2 and now the line 2 1 the power will be somewhat different okay in the opposite direction and uh, here you should not consider uh, s12 is equal to s21 since the line flow between bus 1 and 2 is different from the line flow between bus 2 and 1 so you need to calculate the line flow 1 2 and 2 1 separately so here we are just substituting i equal to 2 and j equal to 1 in the formula and substituting all the values and obtaining we will be getting minus 0 0.3639 minus j 0.1828 is equal to p21 plus j q21 similarly for the next line 3 2 previously we obtained 2 3 now it is 3 2 so i equal to 3 j equal to 2 in the formula we will be getting this answer similarly for uh, line 1 3 i equal to 1 and j equal to 3 we will be getting this answer so we got uh, all the six line flows with the real power flow and reactive power flow now we are going to find out the line losses transmission line losses assume the base MVA as 100 here in some problem they will be uh, mentioning this base value and if it is not given you can assume some value of base MVA here I assumed as 100 MVA so these are the line losses real power loss and reactive power loss of the lines so first P12 real power loss that will be equal to P12 from the previous uh, step plus P21 so you just add this two answer and multiply with the base value you will be getting the actual uh, losses that is 0.51 megawatt of losses similarly for uh, reactive power loss q12 that will be equal to q12 plus q21 just add this two into 100 you will be getting the mvar loss and um, p23 23 plus 32 just add all this data you will be obtaining from the previous step the third step and substituting the values you will be getting the answer as 3.45 megawatt similarly for q23 3.88 mvar p31 7.89 megawatt and q31 losses 17.56 mvar so this is how you need to solve the power flow analysis using gauss seidel method determining the line flow and line losses